So now in this video, we'll talk about Armstrong number. Now what exactly Armstrong number is, so let's say if you have a number, so let's start with the comment, uh, the theory part of it. So if you talk about a number, so let's say your number is 5 or 153, which is 153. So we have to isolate this number, so it is 1, 5 and 3, okay. Now uh, each digit, so let's say if you have 1, so you have to find the cube of 1, which is 1 into 1 into 1. And then we have to find the cube of 5, which is, or we can say 5 cube. And then we have to find the cube of 3, so with these 3 numbers. And then we have to add these numbers. So it's 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube. And then once you add this number, you'll be getting 1 plus. Uh, 5 cube is 125 plus and, the, uh, and then we have 3 cube which is 27. So when you add this all these numbers you will be getting 153, right? So your, initial, your input value is 153 and when you do this operation the output is also 153. If this is the case, this number 153 will be also called as Armstrong number. Let me go with one more example. Let's talk about 370 or even you can go for 371. So if you talk about 370, it is 3 and 7 and 0. So we can find 3 cubes. So we can, I can write 3 cube, which is 3 into 3 into 3. Then we have 7 into 7 into 7. And even if you multiply zeros, you will be getting zeros, right? So we don't have to multiply that. And then when you find 3 cube, which is 27, and then 7 cube, which is 343 so it is 27 plus 343 is 370 right so this will also give you a number which is 370 which is a Armstrong number so once you got the logic now let's implement the same thing in Java now how to implement that first with first we need a number so we can also take this number from user so we'll name this we'll, we'll name this variable as n so let's assign a value which is 153 you can ask the same value from the user using scanner class. Now, uh, I also need to use one more variable which is temp. Now, why we need temp here? It's because uh, we'll be doing some operations on n. So we don't want to lose the original value. So let's assign the value to temp because we'll be doing operation on temp variable now. Or we'll be, we'll be doing operation on n. Uh, now what we do is first we need to isolate a number so what we can do is we can start with 3 so let's start with 153 so we have to isolate the number 3 now how to isolate this number so we uh, will take one more variable variable for that we'll name this variable as r okay and we need to say r equal to n mod 10 so when you apply this operation of n mod 10 it will give you the value which is 3 so once you got 3 uh, I don't want 3 in the original uh, 153, so how to remove that? We'll say n equal to n divided by 10. This will give you 15. So we have removed 3 and the 3 value is in this r. Now we need to also do this operation of uh, adding the value by multiplying or defining by... First you have to find the cube and then we have to add it. So we'll take one more variable for that. We'll name this variable as sum. Okay, we have a variable which is sum. So we'll say sum equal to, then we have to say sum plus uh, r into r into r, which will find the cube, right? So when you say r into r into r, it will give you the cube value. But the problem is we need, we need to have some initial value for sum. We'll say sum equal to zero. So initially we are sum is zero. Now we have to do the same thing for three times, right? So first you have to go for three, then we have to go for five, then you have to go for one. By what time, what you have to do this or until we have to do this when, yeah. So we have to do this till your zero is greater than, uh, n is greater than zero. So if your n is less than zero or equal to zero, it will stop. Okay, so we will apply a while loop here. We can also use for loop, but the for loop we have to define all three things. In while we can define all the condition okay now once you complete this for loop or sorry once you complete this while loop in sum you'll be getting the you'll be getting this value 153 
If the number is something different, you'll be getting some different output. But in this case, your sum will be 153. Now, how to verify that sum is 153? So we can use uh, if condition and we can say if temp is equal to equal to sum. If this is the scenario, we'll print uh, it's uh, arm strong number. Otherwise, in the else part, we'll be printing not say arm strong. Armstrong number simple and if you run this code now it says it says it says it's an Armstrong number but what if I change this value so if I make this as 155 so of course it's not a Armstrong number and if I run this it says it's not an Armstrong number simple so that's how you find a given number in Java as Armstrong or not so thanks so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.